guys you're welcome back so in this video i just going to touch up this thing here that we did in last video a little bit and give it some sort of nice feel already as it's like this it already looks nice already looks great with the whole um the color the way the image looks and the text and the font combination and the rest but um nah, let's just make it look unique so we're going to click on the plus icon here and i'm going to go to elements what i'm going to search in element is just for pattern okay however there are some patterns that are pro though we are going to use the one that is free here which is this one okay now we are going to increase it a little bit okay and i'm now going to duplicate it okay let me do that again increase a little bit okay and then duplicate all right so i'm just gonna place it well to where it is you know properly put together you can zoom in by just pinching your screen i'm just gonna place that well and you can use nudge to sort of get it perfectly okay i will advise you not to rush on all these things really because if you rush yourself then you're going to it's really going to frustrate you this is talking from someone that was once a beginner and Canva was really frustrating too. Okay. And just design generally. So I'm going to increase this a little bit again because I don't like this. Let me show you. This empty uh, this empty space that is there that is not touching the this thing. So I just want to increase it. Just you know, increase it a little bit. I'm going to go to this position and place it at the back okay and also change this color that is here to this less purple color this is the hex code 8867ab i will do the same thing here all right what i'm going to do now i'm just going to ungroup this okay and group watch what i did again okay I'm going to ungroup and then i'm going to now group it back the essence of me doing that is i want to go and make the both of them transparent i'm going to reduce the transparency of both of both of them i'm just going to reduce it to like um let's say not too much empty and i know let's say 18 yes so that should be cool that should be cool that should be cool and then what else it's already looking nice so we're just going to click on the plus icon and we are going to go to shape let's just bring in a shape here and also we're going to make use of a doodle this is quite interesting you know um ah, i do not want to go to advanced and just begin our stuff okay great button the bottom stuff this is where you can just put in my um you know maybe my username ig username and stuff i'm going to click on the plus icon again and we are going to make use of this okay how did i get that i just went to this um element and i search for to do okay somebody asks me how do i search for elements how do i know what to search for the thing is just be creative with whatever you're searching really just be creative with it and there's something about canva if you search for something and it just shows you other stuff that are related like now see scribble okay the scribble here i think the first time i saw doodle was i searched for scribble and then i did just showed me doodle and i now saw this one here okay so just be creative with it so i want to just kind of move like that kind of effect as if she's punching the air like pow you know 
you know, so I explain that which is cartoons a lot. Okay, so I'm now going to change the color here to the of the doodle to yellow. Going to just you know do this. Yeah. So next thing I'm just going to click on the plus icon or I'm just going to you know duplicate this guy here, I'm going to bring him down. We are going to go to the effects. It's for shadow, we are gonna leave it like that. As for the shape, we are gonna make it none. I don't want this I don't want the curve again. And we are going to remove this or I think I'm going to change the I'm going to change the font. I'm going to change the font to just Garrett. Once you change it to Garrett, then you cannot make it bold. Then I'm just going to go here. Let's change it to just my Instagram username, the King Benji. I think I'm going to post this on IG. Looking nice. What do you think? Okay. So I'm going to change the color to, let's say, I'm going to get off from here. Let's try a light blue color. Oh, wait, I think I should see the color around here now. Ah, they didn't show the photo color, so this is far harsh. Okay, so I'm going to try this color here. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, four. A A D. Okay, I think that's the color. Yes, that is the color. I'm not going to go here and make it bold. Go to format and make it bold. I think I'm going to adjust this shadow here. Looking quite irritating. I'm going to change the color to this same blue color. Yes, and I'm going to reduce the transparency a little bit. Okay. So great. If you want, you can move the shadow. It's just me and the whole designer IP. Going to equally reduce the font size. Let's change the font size to 60. Mm, that's too small. Let's make it 61. Okay. And then we can now go ahead and I'm just going to bring in an Instagram icon. You can go ahead and search for Instagram here. But I think I've already used it. So I'm just going to scroll. This is it here. Okay, so I'm just going to reduce it. Now, one thing about using icons, make sure, yeah, make sure that it's about the same size with the text to use, not so big. I mean, I see a lot of people making that mistake. Not so big, okay? Great. So, those going to... I think I'll just need to make this left aligned by going to format and just make it left aligned here. I'll zoom in so I can reduce the width of this. Great. Now, I'm going to long press here going to click on this multiple select and select here also and i'm going to now group it okay then i'm now going to go to position and take it to the center and just use adjust and great so we're done with this uh let me show you like another Let's just try another background. I saw a cool background in Canva <laughs> this yesterday, and yeah, I want to share share with you guys. So I'm just going to duplicate it. <clears throat> I don't know why it just did that. I'm going to delete it and duplicate again. Wow, it just did the same thing. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust this by going to nudge. Let's shift it up. Okay, so next I want to do is I'm just going to delete this guy here. There's no use for him again. 
and i'm just going to click on the plus icon I'm going to go to the bills background again and see the background i'm going to use here see it okay what fascinated me about the background earlier is that it looked like as it was moving which was quite weird <laughs> okay so yeah i think that is probably the end of this video probably the end of this video let's just adjust this a little bit i don't want to complicate you guys with a lot of stuff so let's change this guy here let's just make him red um and again canva is not showing the colors let's see the code for this should be let's see okay i can leave it like that okay great 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 i think i'll just yeah okay then all right guys that has brought us to the end of this video and i will see you guys in the next one Goodbye.